Hey everyone, welcome back to Bonsai by the Sea. Well, I've got some good bonsai chores lined up that we can do together. So the headset thing is really working out, so I'll get you set up and we'll get after it. We're having pretty decent weather today. Starting to get a little melting. I'll show you a few things out here first. This group of tamaracks made its way into one of the new large ovals. I'm always happy when I can find three of them like that that are about the same size. Works out. So here's some of the some of the pine trees that I've been wiring up. Put them out today to get a, a snow drink on them. This one's a good example of when they're a little bit thick using a double wire on them. That's really working. One thing about these white pines, they're, they're kind of hard to figure out what to do with if you let them stay tall and straight. And this is the time when they're young like this. It was about a year ago when most of these were, were collected in April. So it's a good time to, to get movement into them. This tamarack I had wired for about a year in a plastic pot. It just recently went into the concrete pot. Really happy with that one. Tony Astors are taken to the pot really well. Everybody's out here getting a snow drink. So this group of spruce trees is developing really nice. They're really happy <laughs> on their little vacation from winter time in here. So I've got, I've got a few projects here. So here's one of the white pines that's in need of some personality. Still cut off some of these lower branches. So this is just Romex, 12 gauge Romex. But it's working out really, really good to, to double it up like this. Put both wires on at the same time. Gives a lot more, lot more leverage. Because when they get about this thick, they they start to get a little stiff. They need that extra extra punch of the double wire. It's got some good movement into it. There we go. This 
So I have a, a lot of Chinese junipers, a lot of Chinese juniper cuttings. And this is definitely the best one. And it's grown, it's grown this way because it's in this colander. You can see lots of roots coming out the bottom. So I'm gonna put, put it in this concrete pot. Been using this sheetrock tape a lot. Oh, and I didn't bring a knife. Let's see if these will cut it. Yeah. This one's just about the right size to fit right in there. So we'll get it out. Yeah, it's gonna work out fine. moss on this one was in good enough shape to reuse. Get it situated first. This one's off to a real nice start. These colanders like this, this one came from the junk store. I'll always be looking for them because they, they really work. Lots of oxygen to the roots seems to be the key. There's one potted up. So this pot was made without the trowel. More of an eyeball thing. This is how I made them when I first started making them. And I still, I still like these, so I made that one that way. Sheetrock tape is a great thing. You get it to stay down. Dirt fix that. So this is a a local maple, wild maple. They get a beautiful taper in the trunk, and I've had really good, really good success with these selling them. Every Canadian should have a, a maple tree in its collection. It'll fit in this pot really nice. Just a little tall.
love the taper that develops in the trunk on these. Definitely worth collecting. This one, this one can go right out in the snow and get a drink. I think I've got a mad cat at the door. <laughs> Wondering why it's not being let in. Yeah, there you go. it up okay so I have a lot of Amur maples they came up last April so they're not quite a year old yet and I had well over a hundred of them that came up last year so I ended up putting a lot of them in into a clump style. So this one's gonna go in this, this round pot. So it too has been growing in a colander from the junk store. These were really good size for it. This should fit right in here. These Amurs were the best success I've ever had with seeds. Just came up wonderful. And using the zip tie has worked out. I'm not seeing any damage on them. They're not fusing yet, but they're, they're not having any problem. So the shortest one is this one. And this one so I'm gonna bring them all down to about the same level so this one can go right out in the snow too Got quite a few of these put together with the clump style. They'll all be getting potted up for this summer. it for potting up stuff here's a pot that I made yesterday it 
and it really benefits from keeping them wet at this time. It's probably about 20 hours since this one was mixed up. And this is when it really feeds on water. Good idea to keep them wet. Makes for better, better concrete for sure. So this, this was the leftovers. And this, this plastic pot was put in my collection bin. I've made quite a few pots from it. So the way this one worked out is this, this wasn't quite big enough to make the inside of the pot. So I used plywood around that pot to make up for that space. So the first step is getting this out. It can be pretty stubborn to get this, this piece out. The good thing about having the plywood pieces is it kind of kind of breaks down. That's how that goes together. That gave me a quarter inch all the way around to make the planting area a little bit bigger. So I, I like to use an old towel. Because at this point, they're a little vulnerable. They could, could definitely crack in half. Looks like it came out good. So here's how I put a hole in them. This is the square chisel. Push it back and forth. Gotta work your way through there. There we go. They all they always come out fairly sharp on the edges. Coming out of the mold like that. So at this point. Good idea to take that edge off. Make them a little more friendly. These pots are working out really good. That'll probably be getting a jade plant. So I'm really happy with this one. They're all settling into the pot really nice. So I hope everybody's staying warm and staying well. And I'll catch you on the next one.